Are you thinking about buying a condo in Palm Beach County? Well today we're going to talk about a couple things that you absolutely must know and we're getting started right now. Everybody. I'm Palm Beach's Paul with Keller Williams Innovations, your local realtor and guide to the Palm Beaches, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, it is an absolutely beautiful day here in Paradise today. A little bit chilly for us Floridians. I got my long sleeve shirt on and my blue jeans, but nothing we can't handle. Had to trade in the flip flops for some uh, boat shoes and socks. But, uh, you know, when it drops below 70, we tend to get a little chilly down here in South Florida. But my phone has been ringing off the hook with buyers from places like New York, New Jersey, Boston, all, all parts of the Northeast, just looking to get out of the cold and either find a permanent place or a winter home down here in South Florida. And many of those people are looking for condos. Today I'm actually at Casa Del Mar. It's a condominium here in East Delray Beach, really close to the ocean. And it's one of the listings that my coworker Justin has. And today I want to talk to you about some items that you really need to know about before you decide to make a decision to put a purchase on a condo. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. All right, so I moved inside. Although it's absolutely beautiful out there right now, you can see in the background there's some construction going on with some new condos that are being built across the street. All the noise just wasn't working for me. So I actually came inside the condo that my friend Justin is selling. This is a really nice condo. It's a one bedroom, one bath. It's a little small, um, but if, again, if it's a winter place, you're, you're right by the beach. So that's the big selling point for this. You can walk out the door, walk up, and you're right at the south end of Delray Beach. Really nice. But uh, it's priced at $270,000. It's 570 square feet under air. So as I said, it's a little on the small side, but hey, if this is gonna be a winter, property for you and you're just coming down here to enjoy the winter and the beautiful beaches and Delray Beach and everything it has to offer, for $270,000 that's not a bad deal. Um, so let's talk about the first thing that you need to be concerned about when you're buying a condo and that is the purchase, the financing of it. Uh, obviously there are two ways you can purchase a property. You can either finance it uh, by getting a loan or you can pay cash. Now a lot of condos, especially down here in South Florida, uh, many of them only accept the cash. So it's real important that when you see the property you're looking for that you make sure there's uh, other options for financing it um, than just you know a cash purchase. But uh, some places, you know, a lot of people just come down here and they have cash and they'll pay cash for the property uh, real easy, no contingency or any of that stuff, uh, no appraisal, and uh, they'll just do their home inspection. So that's something you need to look at. Now, why I say that's important is if you are financing, a lot of the condos will only accept a conventional loan. Now there are some that will take FHA, but it's far and few between. And I've tried to help first time home buyers look for properties with FHA loans and it's next to impossible. On top of that, I'm currently working with some buyers right now who are doing a 5% conventional. And that has been extremely difficult to find. And we finally found a property and we're in the process right now to find out if the building has the right financials and everything. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. That's another point that we'll talk about. So most condos down here, if you're going to finance, they want 20%. And if it's going to be a second home, like a lot of the people who are reaching out to me are, it's going to be their winter, they want even more if you're financing it. They want anywhere between 25 to 30%. And that's the lender who's asking for that. Um, some of the condos won't take anything less than 20%. So, um, you know, you have to check with your lender, but you also have to check with the condo building. This particular property, it says cash and conventional. I don't know the terms here, but I would probably assume that they want a minimum of 20% down on your financing. So although a condo can be a great property for a first time home buyer, because, you know, $270,000 be a nice way to start, you know, and even less, I've seen them as low as $85,000. Um, and remember, there's, condo fees attached so we'll talk about that as well every condo has a, a condo or a board a COA condo owners association and they're gonna have a monthly maintenance fee that you're gonna have to pay similar to a homeowners association so but you know for getting a condo uh, say it's 85,000 it's your first property that's great but if you don't have the 80 the 20 uh, percent to put down uh, it doesn't work and that's happened for many of my clients now you can go on um, uh, federal housing you can go look at the website for HUD and you can find properties that qualify for FHA um, but as I said there's not a lot of them 
uh, is kind of difficult. And you know, I made a video before last year about a program that we were hoping was going to come back that was going to have more condos taking on FHA buyers, but then COVID hit. It seems like that kind of just died. So uh, we'll see what 2021 brings. All right. So since we just talked about the finance part of buying a condo, let's talk about the monthly HOA fee or the condo association fee. For this particular condo that Justin's selling, it's $333 a month. Now, this building was built in 1965, and with that, that $333 a month covers your sewer, your water, and your gas. So, because this, they have gas here, it's an older building, which is a big plus, especially when there's hurricanes. Um, but there's no gym, there's no swimming pool, uh, the beach is only, like I said, five minutes walk up the street, but for $333 a month, that's what that covers. It doesn't cover a whole lot, and that's something you need to watch for when you're buying a condo. You want to see what that monthly HOA fee is, and that can greatly affect the amount that you can finance, because that's an ongoing monthly fee that's going to be paid every single month and you have to make sure you make that payment um, or they can assign uh, fines to uh, to your uh, property for not keeping up your HOA fee or your condo association fee. So you want to look at not just the price of the condo but you also want to look and see what the monthly fee is and uh, some of the condos down here I'm working with a buyer right now who's in town and some of the fees are almost a thousand dollars a month. <gasps> some of them go much higher than that. All right, so since we just talked about condo association fees, let's talk about condo associations. They're good. They have their purpose, and every condo is going to have one. It's, a, it's an association. It's put together um, by the homeowners or the condo owners, uh, the people who volunteer for the president and secretary and treasurer. Um, you can vote these people in. When you buy a condo, you get the right to vote. Um, so it allows you to vote and you can also run for the uh, office of a uh, condo president. Um, I would never want that job. I've talked to people. Many people say it's a very thankless job, but they have them and they have them for a reason. They're trying to keep order and make sure that rules are followed in a condo uh, building. So all buildings have a condo association and they all are going to have an application that you have to fill out and submit and do sometimes an in-person interview in order to purchase a property. Now you cannot close on your property until you've gotten an approval from the condo board. These condo boards by law can take 30 days from the date they receive it. And, and when they say they receive it, they mean in full with the check and everything filled out correctly. If you left off your license plate or some information that was required on that application, they don't consider it complete and they won't start the process and count the 30 days until they have a completed application. Now why that's so important? Well, on a contract, time is of the essence. So if you're expecting to close on a certain date and you turn in your HOA application and only give them 20 days and then you're waiting to close, they can literally tell you, hey, we haven't had a full 30 days to approve you and sorry, but, and they won't rush and you could scream to the heavens it clearly says on their application 30 days. So it's real important that you pay attention to that. It's real important that you know when you're expected to close and it's extremely important that you get your application turned in on time. And the money is non-refundable and some of those application fees I've seen as high as $500. So, you know, you want to time it with your home inspection and how much time you have for that and when you want to get that application turned in and again all this stuff's going to be on your contract with your realtor um, but it's real important that you make sure that you get that filled out so which leads me to the next thing the rules and regulations all right so every time you purchase a condo uh, down here it's um, on a on a pre-owned condo it's three days I believe it's seven on a new, I haven't sold a new condo, I'd have to check. But on a pre-owned, you have three days to review your condo docs. Now, all condos have a list or a, a set of documents, guidelines and rules that they've, uh, bylaws that they've put together for their building. And you have a right to review those. You can have three days from after you've done the contract, there'll be a, a contract, a, a condo addendum or a condo rider they call it. And it will tell you that you received them from the selling agent 
and now you're reviewing them and you sign that you received it and it lets you tell them, hey, I'm going to review these documents for three days. This is all within your inspection period, but you want to review those documents because they have a lot of rules in there. A lot of those rules can be things that you may not agree with. And if you don't agree with them, then you might not want to make an offer on that particular condo. So it's important that you read those condo guidelines. Um, some of the rules could be pets, uh, no pets. A lot of condos won't allow pets at all. Some of them have limitation on pets, period, maybe one pet or two pets, no more than 70 pounds combined. So you got that big dog and a small cat, that dog is 70 pounds, doesn't matter. Um, they, they don't want you to have you know, anything more than a certain weight limit. And these are all going to be in the rules and you have to read those rules and make sure you agree to them. Commercial vehicles aren't allowed, um, the number of cars you have, uh, just the number of people that can come, the time that people can stay in your property. And, uh, and a real big one, and I get this all the time, uh, Airbnb, absolutely not. Unless the condo allows it, which almost none of them do down here, don't even think about buying the property and then think, well, I'm going to make it to an Airbnb. Um, that's a sure way to get yourself into a hot mess with the condo board. So read those documents, extremely important um, that you get those and you get a copy and you review them and uh, make sure you agree to everything that's in it before you decide to move past your inspection um, or even try to get the documents before you go under contract if at all possible and that way you know for sure that you want to put an offer in this building and you agree to the rules. All right, we're going to combine two and one sort of. All right, so another thing that's real important is you want to make sure that the condo that you're buying, you want to get a copy of their financials. You want to make sure that they're financially in good order. Um, all those fees that they collect monthly go towards things like maintenance, like making sure the railings are painted and the concrete's pressure washed and the pool's in good order, the swimming pool's in good order. Do they need, I don't know, do they need new gates? For the parking garage, whatever it is, all those things that the condo community are responsible for goes into a budget and they collect that through their monthly HOA or COA fees. And you want to make sure that they have good financials and they're in good financial order. And um, basically, you want to make sure it has all that because we do live down here in South Florida where there's hurricanes. Hurricanes come through, things get broke from the wind and the storm. You want to make sure that they have the funds to fix that and that you're not paying a monthly HOA fee living in a condo and the railing outside your condo is you know, halfway hanging off or the pool's closed for the whole year because it was damaged. You want to make sure that they have the funds to fix certain things in there. Um, the other important thing to look for when you're buying a condo is assessments. Um, now, some of the buildings that are said could be older buildings and maybe they need to have the whole building painted or they're going to re, you know, strip all the rails and repaint them and uh, reseal them and all that. All those things cost money, and a lot of times the HOA will say, "Well, you know, we need a new roof or whatever it is. We are going to assess every homeowner an X amount of money." You want to make sure before you buy the condo that you ask the selling agent, "Are there any future assessments coming up?" Um, and there's a couple ways you can handle that, and I'm not going to go into that right now. But you just want to make sure that if there are any assessments, you want to know how much it is, where they're at, and uh, it's a really important question to ask um, when you're buying a condo. So assessments are important to watch out for, as well as the financials and making sure that they're, they're financially strong. Even if you're paying cash, you don't want to buy a place and they don't have the finances to keep the place nice uh, and let the, the building get run down because then how are you going to sell it? I, I don't want to buy it if it looks real ugly. I don't think anybody else would. So those are some real important things that you want to keep in mind. All right, and one last thing, uh, because as I said we live in Florida and we have hurricanes. If you're buying a condo, this is an important one, you want to make sure whether you're in an evacuation area. Um, that pretty much goes for even home buying. But, you know, a lot of the condos down here, people want to live by the beach, right on the water. I mean, it's South Florida. It's beautiful. That's why you want to be down here. That's why you want to have that condo. And if it is somewhere that you're going to live during the summer when we do have the hurricanes, um, then, you, you know, you want to know whether it's in an evacuation zone. And um, a lot of times they are, if they're on a barrier island um, or they're right there, a lot of times if it's a strong enough hurricane, they will issue a uh, mandatory evacuation. So just something you want to look into. And there's quite a few other things, you know, when you're buying a condo. You just want to be careful. You want to do your due diligence and ask a lot of questions. Um, condos are great. Um, you know, you don't have to do any yard work and self-contained 
nice little piece of paradise and a lot of them have some really nice amenities, beautiful gyms and, and uh, you know, valley parking, depending on your price point you get up to, and some are a little right on the ocean. Um, so condos are a great investment and, you know, let's face it, if you live up in the Northeast and you want to get away from the winter, bring the family down here, enjoy our beautiful beaches, the restaurants, uh, Atlantic Avenue, or wherever you're looking here in South Florida, a uh, condo is a great way to, you know, do that. You can get a two-bedroom condo and come down here and stay and enjoy it, and, uh, and then pack up and leave and you know close the place up until you want to come back again um, and some of the places you can let people stay uh, some of them have on the lease side of it you some properties have either like a one-time lease uh, some will have like a two-time lease and they'll have minimum days that you can do so again that's something you want to look at um, if you're thinking well you know I could lease it out in the summer while I'm you know back in the Northeast you just want to make sure uh, what the rules are for that and uh, and what their guidelines are for actually letting someone rent it. Like some of them have a minimum credit score to be able to rent there or a minimum uh, income to be able to rent there. So you just want to look at all those and make sure. But um, condos are nice and this is a really nice one. I, I, I can enjoy living here if I was single and it's a nice little one bedroom and you know right there go to the beach and uh, it's close to everything. Not to mention for uh, $270,000, you have million dollar condos being built across the street. Uh, some of the condos in the corner, uh, by I think Seaside Builders, are priced at $3.1 million. Literally, just look out the balcony and you're looking at it. And there's some new ones going across, literally right where I'm pointing out here, out the window. I'm not sure what those are priced at, but I bet they're a pretty penny. Um, obviously very new and very modern, but still, not a bad place to buy a property. Prices are just going to keep going up. So uh, if you're interested in this cute little unit, be sure to reach out to me. I'll work a deal. I know Justin. He'll be fair with us. <laughs> He's actually a really good realtor. But uh, I appreciate you watching. And as always, when you're in the Palm Beaches, get out and enjoy paradise. I'll talk to you real soon.